to an extent, yep. got rid of a few and spiked pretty quick. All right, let's get into today's games. And as we mentioned, the West Coast Eagles finally broke their duck. And Harley Reid was sensational. Oof. 27 touches, seven clearances, eight score involvements and a goal. And we couldn't keep our eyes off the TV. Can't imagine, probably a 16-page lift-out, I would have thought, <laughs> in the, uh, in the West, uh, West Australia tomorrow. <laughs> Elliot Yo, uh, Tim Kelly. Uh, and this all happened with Richmond kicking the first four goals of the game. And then, of course, the big eight-goal Second term from the Eagles, and uh, they've ended up winning, as you can see, 16, 13, 109 to 10, 10, 70. Plus 23 clearances. You, you don't see a braining like this. Oh, I'd take my hat off to Elliot Yeo and Tim Kelly. The leadership and, and the, just the mental strength to push through when the club's in such a trough. Those guys in the box, they've been through hell publicly every week. Are you still the man? Uh, do you know what you're doing with this group? Where are these incremental wins you're talking about? Well, we saw them today. And it just takes the pressure off for a few days and just gives them a chance to catch their breath as a football club. But you're right. Every now and then, there's a player comes along and you go, wow, how good is it to have this guy in our game? I don't even... No, no one bar, none of us barracks nah. the Eagles, but, but we couldn't, couldn't take help our eyes yeah. off him today. And rewinding and replaying what he did. But I really, I really think it's off the back of senior core leaders saying, hey, we've got to step up for this club. 100%. 15 clearances for Elliot Yo. They have mm. 30 clearances between Kelly, Reid and Yo, And they're not just clearances. They are... We spoke about it last week. They are brutal, the way they play, the way they burst out of traffic, the way they break tackles. And then it's amazing, Kingy, when you're winning clearances like that, what it does for your forwards. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, Jake Waterman looked like Peter Sumich this afternoon, <laughs> and they were just breaking breaking away. They're a powerful midfield. Plugger, are... Plugger Waterman, Plugger. we were calling him. Plugger Waterman. We had six. to call him Dunstall a while, with, and we <laughs> elevated him to Plugger. But, but look at this look stuff. At this. You'd want to bring your, ta you want to bring your A grade A grade tackling game if you're going to be playing against the West Coast midfield for the rest of this year. So at half time, they'd scored 7-1 uh, from, from clearance, which is the second best return they've had for 10 years in the first half. 10 years. There's been some handy players at the West Coast yeah. and they've won flags through that period. So their first half 7-1, 210 games is, is that span. So this is the power that these guys are generating from clearance. That you couldn't not score from some of those exits there. It's, it's a, a quick evolution. And, and so just a reminder to all of us that when it drops... It just looks awesome. Yeah. It can sometimes take a while, can't it? Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, it clicked. Now, they're not going to play that well every single week, but what that belief does for the group now, getting reward for their, for their hard work and seeing it and being able to feel it and experience it, they can mm. draw back to it throughout the year when times do get tough again. But just the energy that Harley Reid is bringing to not just the oh. team, but the whole state and even to the whole football public now. I've had people sending me texts and, I mean, it, it was must-watch and it's so exciting. And the Derby next week, it adds a little bit Oof. of excitement. Yeah. That's going to be a great round of footy next week. We'll talk about that. Just 